YouTube. My name is Mesa Sean, and welcome back to another Destiny 2 news video. All right, folks, we're going to round up the latest Destiny 2 news, or a season of opulence news. We're going to go over the This Week at Bungie, and also Bungie put out a blog prior to the This Week at Bungie uh, with an update on the Crown of Sorrow raid that will be coming this summer with Season of Opulence. If you enjoy my content, please hit that like button and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Let's get into it, folks. Now, this comes from Luke Smith as well as the Destiny development team. So I'm going to read this verbatim. When we were building the Vault of Glass in 2013, the notion that our raids would launch a competition around Worlds First in Destiny was only a dream. The me from 2013 certainly did imagine we'd have the opportunity to make sweet championship belts and jackets for champions and competitors. It's been an incredible multi-year run. Bosses have fallen off ledges, sword bearers have been clutch, giant foes have created jaw-dropping moments, and the list can go on and on. With Crown of Sorrows, we hope to add more memories to your time in Destiny's raids. So here's what their goals are for the World's First Race. World's First Races in Destiny are attempting to deliver the following experiences. Power progression that challenges raiders to climb to compete for World's First. Showcase team communication, game strategy, and player skill. And lastly, a watchable and fair World First Race. Now Luke continues, with Opulence we wanted to try something different and make the raid available on day one in an effort to make the raid race more fair and competitive. However, our best laid plans have turned this into a multi-week cross-seasonal powerful reward storage competition. So here is how Bungie is changing the way the world's first raid window will work for Season of Opulence and testing out a new mode called Contest. So the raid is going to go live on June 4th at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So while Contest is active, players will face an enforced challenge throughout the raid. This means power beyond certain levels will provide no advantage for a given fight. For example, for the first fight, all power above 700 won't provide an advantage, and for the final fight, a power above 720 will not provide an advantage. You can see here also they're going to deploy the update at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and the game will be down until 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, so that as many players as possible can get through the download and verification step and be ready for Opulence launch. Now, I will be streaming that morning, and I'm on PlayStation 4, and the download, copying, and uh, installation of an update always takes forever but I won't be streaming I'll be streaming but I won't be streaming the raid I want to be streaming all this other new content that will be coming along with opulence now after 24 hours they're going to end or disable contest and restore the power slash raid relationship to its usual functionality then players will be able to leverage their power to overcome the raids challenge so I'm wondering do you think people will complete it prior to the 24 hour uh, window we have here while they have this new mode called contest available let me know in the comment section. Now let's get into the This Week at Bungie, and boy, it is a big one. So sit back and relax. I will try to give you the meat and potatoes, so to speak, of it, but I will link it in the description if you want to read it. Let's get into it. Let's talk about some NPCs, the Drifter and Benedict99, our raid handler. So the Drifter is going to return to his role as your Gambit hype man, and Benedict99 is about to become your source for brand new secrets and rewards. Now, as you can see on screen, for a power surge, instead of a set of bounties, a new power surge quest will be your jumping off point for a season of opulence. You will need to complete this quest to access the new raid. Learning from Season of the Forge, this quest might be completed only once per account. After one character completes the quest, alternate characters will be rewarded with surge gear at power level 690 so you could do some catching up if you did not play during the season of the drifter next up is gambit bounties we didn't want rewards from the drifter to be one of the primary sources of power following his run as the central character for season of the drifter as a result power boosts received from gambit bounties will decrease once you've achieved 700 power they will decrease even further once you reach 720 power i'm reading into that as they want us to play the new content not so much the older content next up they talk about prime attunements your prime engrams that give you powerful gear so on day one prime attunements will be reset to two charges for each player 
you'll receive two new prime attunements even if you are playing right up to reset. We want you to be able to play your favorite character without it impacting your power leveling strategy. They also rehash a few things we discussed already regarding the Crown of Sorrow raid, which will kick off at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on the 4th of June. Players who want to compete will need to complete the Power Surge quest. We also have some new engrams and also some new updates to the Eververse store. Now, Bungie says here, we had two main goals for the changes we're making to Eververse in Season of Opulence. The first one is called Direct Pick. Every new Eververse item in Season of Opulence will be available for direct purchase via Silver or Bright Dust. Most of these offers will be time limited with new items available weekly. Then there will be the greatest hits. Season of Opulence Bright Engrams will contain a collection of community favorite legacy items with a focus on the best of year one. If you missed out on the spicy ramen or the selfie emote, Season of Opulence is your chance. Now some additional details, and let's take a look at this image on screen here. So for armor, full armor sets will be made available as a single per class bundle as opposed to being offered only via Bright Engrams. Individual armor pieces can also be purchased for Bright Dust whenever they appear on the storefront. These armor pieces feature fixed perk rolls that are not randomized across duplicates. So they wanted a simpler interface. So they say here, specific items are now featured on the front page and will be cycled with each weekly reset. Most offers will be time limited to make way for rotating inventory, with some coming back into rotation at a later date. Players can access this new interface by visiting Tess in her usual tower location. Now check this image out here. We see an exotic ghost shell in the middle, two projections off to the left and the right, and two exotic ornaments all the way on the left and the right. On the right hand side, it just looks like an exotic ornament for a helmet piece. But look at the gauntlets. What are they wrapped in? To me, that looks like SIVA. Now, I know I'm reaching here, but could this be another sign that SIVA is coming back in Destiny 2? We saw it in the concept art a really long time ago near the Exodus Black Ship crash site, but also we just had Outbreak Prime come back, and now we've got an ornament that clearly looks like it has SIVA all over it. Speculate in the comments section. What do you guys think? But uh, yeah, we do see two new exotics. It looks like those look like Titan exotic. Well, Titan exotic gauntlets. And for the helmet, I don't know. Is that a Titan or a Hunter? That's not a Warlock. I would say a Titan. Looks like we see two new Titan exotics. What do you think? Some more clarification on the wrapped items and refunds. So first off, individual items purchased for silver will now go to the relevant character inventory location in a wrapped state. Example, a Sparrow purchased directly for silver will arrive wrapped in the Sparrow inventory. To use an item, it must be opened just like a bundle. Once opened, the item functions and can be accessed normally. If you wish to refund an item, you will have seven days from purchase to do so. Items that have been opened cannot be refunded. Keep that in mind. Items that have been opened cannot be refunded. What do you guys think of this overhaul of the Eververse store? Well, I kind of like it because if you see something you like, well, you could just buy it with silver. However, for myself, I can't really see myself spending money to buy things in the Eververse store other than an ornament that really grabs my eye. The only ornament I've ever purchased was the Outbreak Perfected ornament. I only bought one of them. I didn't like the green one. I forgot what it's called. But um, I'm never going to spend silver on emotes or sparrows or anything like that. And uh, when it comes to like ghost shells, yeah. You know what, guys? I've said this before. When it comes to going from Destiny 1 to Destiny 2 with regards to, like, sparrows, ships, ghost shells, things like that, they were kind of devalued going into Destiny 2. You remember in Destiny 1, if you got a ship like the Nano Phoenix or a really cool ghost shell from either Future War Cult or a certain faction, or, um, or even a sparrow for that matter, you know, you wore it as a badge of pride. You Like, you grinded your faction rep and all that sort of stuff, and... I feel like even though there's exotic items within Eververse, they're all kind of devalued. I don't know. I know I'm going off on a tangent here. But let me know what, it, what you guys think in the comments section. Do you like this method? Do you like the fact that, hey, I see something. I see a sparrow I like. All right, I could throw some money at the screen. I can buy that. 
What do you think? That is going to do it for this video, guys. I will choose the winner for the Astro A40 TRs with Mix and Pros tomorrow, so make sure you follow me on Twitter in Tuesday's weekly reset video. I have a contest still going, so if you leave me a comment and make sure to put your Twitter handle in that comment and follow me on Twitter, you have a chance at winning a set of Astro A40 TRs with the Mix Amp, the pros, the new ones, the really good ones. That's it, guys. Leave me a hashtag, made it to the end, if you did make it to the end, and do me a favor, drop a like in this video only if you see fit. Follow me on Twitter, at Mesa Sean. Check out my stream, usually and always on YouTube, and that's it. I am out of here, like Vladimir. Yeah.